Hi, and welcome to the OpenStat Kit Hello World app tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a new app using the application generation tool. The tool has multiple application templates, and we'll be using the one that generates an app that corresponds to the CFE application developer's guide. I will walk through the steps for generating, building, and running the app. There are details behind these steps that are covered in other tutorials, so I will not be covering them here. I've launched Cosmos and I've launched OpenSec. I have not started the CFS. If you have, that's okay. You can stop it now. We will stop it during the application process. So the Cosmos command and telemetry server is running, and the telemetry viewer has been reduced. On the Develop Apps tab, we have a Create App button. And even if yours doesn't look exactly like this, that's fine. There'll still be a Create App button on each version of OpenSat Kit. When we click on that, we get the Manage App Development screen. On the right side, we have the six steps that we'll use to create the app and install it. And on the left side, we have a partial directory structure of OpenSat Kit. The green highlights indicate directories or files that are created by the tools. The yellow highlights indicate files that we'll be editing during this process, and the bluish color is uh, assumptions made that you don't really have to worry about. The kit's already set up for message IDs that are required by the um, sample app. So if we go to the first step and hit the Create App button, this, this is the window that will actually generate the code and all the artifacts. There's multiple templates that uh, can be used and for this tutorial we're going to use the CFE app developer guide version um, template. On any of these if you want some information about it you can hit the template information and it will give you a summary of the template. The CFS target directory is where the app will be created so it's in CFS apps and we're going to name our uh, new app example and if you'd like you can show default you don't have to but that's where it will be located there's no reason not to use the defaults. Likewise, for uh, the Cosmos target directory, it's Cosmos config targets example. And, and for Cosmos, there's one target created for each application. And the convention in Cosmos is to use all capital letters. In addition to Cosmos, the command and telemetry server file will be edited so it will install the app. If we go ahead and hit create app, let me type in example, hit OK. We get a pop-up that says it successfully created the app in the target directories that we just saw. So we can close this window and we're done step one. Next, we need to edit the CMake file, which is the file, the build file for all the applications. Now the tool that's being launched here is not a full-blown editor. It's a simple GUI that lets us edit and save. So I bring this up because it's not going to prompt you if you just close the window and save your um, changes. You explicitly have to say save. Now we want to locate the uh, set function that has the app list. And you can see here all the apps that are normally built. You can simply add example to the end. So a space and then example under file and say save. And it's the location's fine. It'll be in the right location and we can save our place. So now we've added example to the CMake. Next, we need to edit the executive services startup script. Now, if you haven't familiar with this yet, this is a script that uh, the executive services use to define which apps get loaded on startup. And as you can see, there's a, a large list of apps that get loaded and when it hits the first exclamation point, then it treats the rest of the file as comments. In these comments, I actually have an example uh, entry that you can simply copy and paste. Now also for this example, I'm going to remove a lot of apps from the startup. And that way we won't have a lot of clutter in the startup window and we can see what happens with the example app when it first starts up. I have left in telemetry output, command ingest, and scheduler app because these are all required for the runtime environment. Again, we need to save it. Location is fine, and we want to replace. That's step three. Now, step four, this button will stop the CFS that's running, and it will also stop the command and telemetry server. And you can ignore these status messages. 
So now we're going to need to build the CFS. And this is already pre-configured to run a shell script that will actually build. And if you see this, build target mission install is your last line. That's a good sign. And if we scroll up, we can see that it's installing example that it built it. So we can uh, close this window. And now we need to start the server back up, the Cosmos command and telemetry server. And it's also going to start the CFS. So we got to enter our password. So this is the terminal window of the CFS. We can see that executive services is about to start example and saying it's loaded and created. And at the end of examples initialization sequence, it puts out a event message saying that it's been initialized. Now we can go a little further in terms of the command and telemetry server has a ability to launch a command sender and a telemetry viewer. So we can launch command sender. It doesn't matter which row you pick. It's easier actually to use this one to navigate to the proper app. So I just launched command sender, went to app, and there's the no op command that we'll be sending in a minute. Let's go to telemetry packet. So I clicked on telemetry viewer, selecting example, and here's the example housekeeping packet. And we see that time is incrementing, so that's good. It's being sent. The valid can counter and error counters are zero. Now we're going to go ahead and send the no op command. We see that it, sure enough, it sent an event message with its version ID. And if we go to the housekeeping packet, we see that the command valid counter incremented to one. So this concludes the Hello World app tutorial. We were able to build, create an app and build it and install it in six easy steps. If you'd like any further information, please see the tutorials that cover application design and type. Thanks for listening.